Hey, what's up? This is Mikey at Blue Monkey Bicycles, and in this video, we're going to talk about having a hub motor on the front of the bike or on the rear of the bike. Alright, so by and large, if you're choosing between having a hub motor mounted in the front wheel or in the rear wheel, choose the rear if you can. Most production electric bikes with a hub drive mount their motors on the rear, and the big reasons are grip and control. Having the motor on the rear of the bike where the rider weight is located gives the motor more grip on the riding surface and therefore more pep and torque for whatever the use is. Also, the wheel on the back of the bike, no matter what the purpose is, is the trailing wheel. It doesn't steer at all. That's all happening up on the front wheel. Having a motor on the front where the steering motion happens can be problematic for an inexperienced rider, especially at full throttle. This is magnified with a bike with a short wheel-to-wheel -wheel measurement and also magnified further with bike and design geometry pushing the rider weight forward. Really, it's a recipe for disaster. Instead of mounting on the rear, if you mount something on the front of the bike, it's not a terrible option. There are some important considerations that make mounting a hub motor on the front a necessity. For a conversion, a front hub is a lot easier to get on and off the bike as opposed to a rear wheel, which in some cases can be intimidating. In the pre-built realm, front hub motors are found on electric trikes quite regularly. With trikes, balance isn't as much of an issue, and also most of the time trikes are going pretty slow in comparison, so the risk is a lot lower. Now some electric bikes will have a hub motor mounted in the front because in the rear is an internal gearing system, such as uh, the new Vinci or the Nexus uh, from Shimano, for example. Now, with an internal gearing system, instead of having all the cogs on the outside, you know, the big derailleur arm and stuff hanging off, all of that's just wrapped into one. And that actually makes a really nice package. And with that, you can actually have a belt drive instead of a chain at all. So there's no grease and, you know, maintenance and stuff like that. So it's actually a pretty good thing to consider. If that stuff is important to you, then I wouldn't rule out a front hub motor completely. It'll still work. One thing I can tell you is not to go mountain biking with a front hub motor unless you want to fall down repeatedly. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If there's another topic or question you'd like to see covered, leave it in the comment section below. If you like this kind of content, visit our web store where you can shop for all sorts of electric bike stuff and be sure to buy the most expensive thing you can find. <laughs> that website is bluemonkeybicycles.com.